Hello everyone, it's Jen Morgano from Card and Mum by Jen Morgano. Thanks for joining me today. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator from uh, North America, Long Island, New York, specifically. And today we're going to make this Well Done card. And I was playing with some, some items I had bought from the annual catalog release. Um, the kind of stuff that you buy and never use. Well, I'm making it a mission to go through the stuff that I have sitting on my shelf. <laughs> and one of those items was the Brushstroke um, specialty paper. It's three sheets, and I don't know if you can see in this video, but it has this great brushstroke background, how <laughs> aptly named. You get three sheets. Um, so you can see it's the um, navy. Uh, let's see what colors they are exactly. We have Blushing Bride, Night of Navy, and Soft Succulent. Really, really super pretty. There's my pink hiding. It's in there. I know you're in here. There it is. <laughs> Just really, really subtle, but really, really nice. So when I saw the Night of Navy, which might have been the one on the background peeking out at me when I took it off the shelf, I said, ooh, ocean. And I said, ooh, well done. Um, I love this set. It's great. <laughs> and it had really cool DSP when it came out. Wish they would bring that back. Um, but we're going to use the whale. We're going to use our school of fish and our thanks a ton because everyone loves a good whale pun. <laughs> so we're going to start. Our card base is going to be four and a quarter by 11. I'm going to score it at five and a half. Our brush stroke panel is going to be four, four inches by um, five and a quarter. I cut a circle of vellum out using our layering circles, which we're going to stamp our school of fish on. And then you're going to need some scraps of white. So let's get started with our stamping. Stamp on our vellum first, and I'm going to use some Mango Melody and just stamp our little fish on the background. Just kind of like a subtle, not too, too bright, but we know they're there. Maybe they're far off in the distance. Scared that big old whale. <laughs> so I'll set that aside to dry. Then on a scrap of basic white, we'll stamp in Mango Melody again. Our thanks a ton. Okay, we'll let that dry. We'll, we'll trim that in a bit. Then on our other scrap of white, basic white, We'll do Mr. Whale in Night of Navy. For some reason lately, I'm going back old school. And <laughs> I want to say not quite Navy. Do, does everyone remember that one? I do. Okay, so we will punch down towards the bottom because we're going to use the punch to go in. So we can come in this way. Okay, nice little whale. Some nice detail on it. Then I'm going to punch some seaweed in Granny Apple Green. So while our Night of Navy whale is drying, I always find Night of Navy takes a bit to dry. Um, I'm just going to trim this. And just give it a little bit of a border. You can eyeball it. Okay. And I fussy cut the seaweed out. And by the magic of television, I may have some already done. Is it television? By the magic of iPhone recording? I'm not sure what to call it. Um, I'm going to put the whale into our punch, line it up, and out we go. Okay. So now we have everything we need to put our card together. We'll start by adhering our brush stroke specialty paper. Down in the middle. 
Then I took the larger seaweed piece. I don't know why I put my glue away. I knew I was going to use it again. And I put some glue on it. Not too much because it's thin pieces. You don't want to squirt out. And I kind of put it center right. So center and to the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our vellum piece and just kind of put a line of glue in the middle and put that over. Like that. Then, and then what, Jen? Then I'm going to take some dimensionals and put that whale right over that glue dot. We're going to take our small seaweed next. Kind of put him down underneath the whale. And our sentiment will prop up with two dimensionals on the back. And I kind of tucked the one little tiny corner underneath the whale. Then your card, you do what you want. Thanks a ton. <laughs> Pretty simple, but again, this paper is really gorgeous. I hope you can see it in, in this video. It's really nice, has a nice shine to it. And to finish it off, I took some of our classic matte dots. I used the white ones and just placed a few around. Oh, my putty got <laughs> really big there. Ah. See if I can use it. I make it look like bubbles. <laughs> there you go. Thanks a ton for watching. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. You can click the link below underneath this video. I'll also be putting a link to my blog, cardandmum.com uh, there. You can go visit. Um, I'll give this specific uh, blog link for this card where you can find out some more information on all the products I used. Thanks for joining and I hope to see you next time.